I met this lady at first in a chat room on the Yahoo Messenger app. Picture this older, white red-headed, sultry white woman with the right amount of curves and pretty feet. She wasn't the prettiest in the face, let's just be real here, but her face grew on me and well, after all the hooking up with her, she became cute to me over time. I used to talk to her on Yahoo chat, but we for some reason never got together from there, partly because she would be on her webcam stripping and showing off her lady parts for several presumably male viewers, so I had stiff competition, if you catch my drift. I would see her on an app called Tagged, but her account was like private, so I couldn't hit her on there, but one day, I was looking at profiles on MySpace and I was like no way. She's on here too? So I hit her up, but my picture was different, hers wasn't, so she didn't know who I was, or at least I don't think so, but long story short, we hit it off and quickly agreed to meeting up for casual SEX. How did you actually ask her? I was pretty bold. As usual, I asked if she was into younger black men, but I already knew the answer to this, but it was just to make conversation at this point. I asked what she was into, and she was into everything, except for the back door, which I was cool with, because I'd much rather take the front door and take the elevator to the penthouse as often as possible. So she was a little freak, huh? Yes my friend. One of the best I've ever had. When I called her to come over to her place, seven to eight times out of ten she'd be like, come on over, and she would then just hang up the phone on me. It took me about 40 minutes to get there and half the time I went there I'd be getting off from work and be dead tired and probably shouldn't have even been driving, but I knew that when I got there the fun would make up for the long drive and all. What do you mean, sir? Well, the first time I met her, I knocked on her door, but first, she lived in the hood. Rough looking thugs walking around everywhere. People staring at you and sizing you up and just a lot of frigging activity that was just unnecessary for that early in the morning, but I became oblivious to it all after a while, but I still had to keep my guard up. But I knocked on her door. This is an apartment building mind you with a neighbor right across from her with a peephole and I kid you not, she answered the door with a cute, fluffy white robe on, wearing nothing underneath and before I could even get inside and close the door, her robe was off and she was but naked and laying on the bed with her legs in the air, looking like a dead cockroach. You've gotta be kidding man. No way. I wish I was lying and that's the thing, all of these stories that I have are all real. None of them are fabricated and a lot is left out for the sake of reducing some of the vulgarity and graphic nature of what I really want to say, but yeah, the weird thing is I had to tell her to wait so I could go check her back room and closets to make sure that no one was there. It got to the point that she stopped wondering and just waited for me to finish doing that each time I came over. I never could trust like that. I always had to clear the place before I could really relax, if you know what I mean. She would always, and I mean always have a window open and sometimes I would forget to close the window and she, and I had a lot of fun and she could get noisy sometimes with her rough and raspy upstate New York accent. Her accent kind of sounded harsh, so all of her neighbors surely heard all of that, as well as our after conversations, which I'm sure were entertaining to eavesdroppers. Man this is a crazy story. Yeah, so she was a divorced white lady that had three biracial kids and she was ex-army. She admitted to having other male suitors. I guess guys talked online about her and wanted to come over to experience her and she was a blast. It's always the unassuming ladies like her that are the best in bed. It's not the really attractive, bad, five-star chick every time. This is a basic red-headed white lady that you'd probably not do a double take on if you saw her at the grocery store. But she always had her hair in a nice, short style and this went nice with her face. It made her look desirable and sexy. Too bad I would sweat her nice hairdo out each time. She sounds interesting to me. Yeah, she would always say that it was the skin contrast during our lovemaking that turned her on the most, because of my dark skin and her pale skin. For me, it was her red hair and curves and the pale skin to my dark skin contrast did it for me too. I had this same thing when I'm with a very dark skinned black lady too. It's the extremes, pale versus very dark, especially if you're very dark with smooth, even skin, like a lot of those African ladies. Yeah. 
African ladies mess me up too, but it's their feet for me. What about their feet? Their feet look meaty and I don't know if it's the shoes that they typically wear, but it seriously messes me up. It's the heels of their feet. I dunno. I need to check my underwear man. Something bad is about to happen. Just kidding. I hear you boss man, but back to my story about this freaky old white lady I met off of MySpace. We actually enjoyed each other's company. Initially, it was just bumping uglies and I would shower up and leave her apartment feeling totally emptied out and refreshed, but soon after she would ask me to bring her a pack of cigarettes and I'd voluntarily bring KFC over, especially if I figured we'd be doing the usual multiple sessions, so we would need our energy bolstered up with the right amount of protein, especially since she robbed me of my protein on a regular basis. The only way I could get that protein back from her would be to do a gastric lavage, but the protein would be denatured from the hydrochloric acid in her stomach so never mind that. She can have it. I bet she was a pro at that from the way you're talking. She was a pro at. Everything. She should have been charging me for this, but this was before I was into paying for it. I was way too young and handsome to have to do that at the time. I wouldn't have been interested. I was used to banging women of all colors and races, for free, but looking back, she should have been charging me for that, or charging the other guys. I guess it was mutual and all and she used to regularly compliment me on having a what she called a wicked curve down there that she loved so much, because it would hit her in the right spot. She was something else. And all of this with no attitude other than having to listen to her harsh accent, but you get used to that after a while, but initially it was off-putting. It's just not sexy, and she was loud. Picture a mix of Boston and Jersey together, and that's her accent. What? The. F. But again, I got used to it, and it became a part of the ambience during our lovemaking sessions. Lovemaking? Wasn't it just sex? Well when you're with a woman like that, and it's feeling so good, and you're kissing her, and all that stuff, you can't tell me at least speaking for myself, I can't tell the difference while we're doing it. It feels so good, it feels like you love her, until the post-ejaculation clarity steps in and then you're disgusted with yourself for having that feeling, but you're also aware of why you had that feeling in the first place, she had the good good, the kind of good good that keeps you coming back and thinking about it to this day. Unfortunately she moved to the farthest side of the state and before that we kind of lost contact anyway, and the last we talked she was getting all religious on me and, was trying to turn her life around with the church and she was now going back to school, so it was gonna come to an end anyway. Midlife crisis, I guess? I was going to say why don't you try to contact her, but never mind, you just answered my question, this seems like a one in a lifetime type of situation or lady. Yeah. What are the odds that I'll run into a lady like this again? If I'm not mistaken, each and every time I came over, she was either in that fluffy white robe and naked underneath, or already but naked on the bed with the door already unlocked for me, but with the last situation she would have already told me that the door would be unlocked, but I usually had to knock and I swear if her neighbor across the hall was looking through their peephole they would have seen all of that. She was very open and free like that, very sexually free, she couldn't give two Fs. You've had lots of women. There's no doubt there, but this lady is a trip and a half man. Tell me about it and again, I'm leaving a lot out for the sake of not being too graphic. But I couldn't make this story up if I tried.